Mathathyahu, Matthew, chapter 14. At that time, Herod the district ruler heard the report about Yahusha, and said to his servants, This is Yahuchanan the Immerser. He has risen from the dead, and that is why these mighty powers are at work in him. For Herod had arrested Yahuchanan, and bound him, and put him in prison because of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife. For Yahuchanan had said to him, It is not right for you to have her. And wishing to kill him, he feared the crowd because they held him as a prophet. But as Herod's birthday was being held, the daughter of Herodias danced before them and pleased Herod. So he promised with an oath to give her whatever she asked. And she, being urged on by her mother, said, Give me here the head of Yehuchanan the immerser on a dish. And the sovereign was sad, but because of the oaths and the guests, he commanded it to be given and sent and beheaded Yehuchanan in prison. And his head was brought on a dish and given to the girl, and she brought it to her mother. And his taught ones came and took away the body and buried it, and went and reported to Yehusha. Now, when Yehusha heard it, he withdrew from there by boat to a deserted place by himself. And when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the cities. And when Yehusha came out, he saw a large crowd and was moved with compassion for them and healed their sick. And when evening came, his taught ones came to him, saying, This is a deserted place, and the hour is already late. Dismiss the crowd, so that they might go into the villages and buy food for themselves. But Yahushua said to them, They do not need to go away. Give them to eat yourselves. And they said to him, We have here only five loaves and two fish. And he said, Bring them here to me. And commanding the crowds to sit down on the grass, and taking the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to the heaven, he blessed and broke and gave the loaves to the taught ones, and the taught ones gave to the crowds. And all ate and were satisfied. And they picked up the pieces left over, twelve baskets filled. And those who ate were about five thousand men, besides women and children. And immediately Yahushua made his taught ones enter into the boat and go before him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowds. And having dismissed the crowds, he went up to the mountain by himself to pray. And when evening had come, he was alone there. But the boat was now in the middle of the sea, agitated by the waves, for the wind was against it. And in the fourth watch of the night, Yahushua went to them, walking on the sea. And when the taught ones saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a phantom! And from fear they cried. But immediately Yahushua spoke to them, saying, Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. And Kaf answered him and said, Master, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. And he said, Come. And when Kaf had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Yahushua. But when he saw that the wind was strong, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried out, saying, Master, save me. And immediately Yahushua stretched out his hand and took hold of him and said to him, Oh, you of little belief, why did you doubt? And when they came into the boat, the wind ceased, and those in the boat came and did bow to him, saying, Truly you are the son of Alhim. And having passed over, they came to the land of Ganathar. And when the men of that place recognized him, they sent out into all that surrounding country and brought to him all who were sick, and begged him to let them touch him, and begged him to let them only touch the sitzat of his garment, and as many as touched it were completely healed.